Hey guys, Tara here. Welcome back to the GT Online video. This time back on the Dangerous Road Rally. It's definitely uh, been a while since the last episode, but I just didn't have the time to just sit down for maybe an hour and record this video. So I uh, finally got some free time now, so I'm back doing this. And the first car today is the Hijack Chameleon. Not the fastest car, but it is an electric car, so it will have some great acceleration. And, well, since the Retinue, I think, is still the fastest car. It, that just proves that straight line speed isn't a factor that you need to have in your car around this course. And I, it's definitely been a while since I've driven this course, so I don't really know where I'm going very well. So, it's going to take a while to get back up to speed, and if I end up making this on this first run, then uh, it's not going to be the best run in the world for the Chameleon. So everything looks to be okay through the first sector so far. Take the nice corner cut there. Actually, corner cut it a bit too much. I think I ran over a rock or something, but didn't cost us any time, really. So, I think we got away with that. And then coming up to the end of the first section, just avoiding the rocks there on the outside. Now with the corner of Doom, or the wall of Doom. Managed to get past there, okay. And now coming into the sector of Doom, can we get this okay? Just avoid the rock there on the outside. But notice that the steering isn't the most responsive thing in the world in this car. And, oh, okay, that was a bit terrible. That's definitely cost us about a second of lap time there. Now coming over the jump, just going to land this, can we? No, we can't land this. Okay, oh, okay. I thought I was going to go straight down the mountain there, but... No, it's just going to become one with this bush. That's the wall of death. My she's by there getting on three wheels, but that's okay. Now, I think the brakes in this car are pretty good, but they're not going to be any use if I keep doing things like that. Yeah, the brakes may be good, but the, the wheels have actually have to be on the ground for it to actually make any difference. Why there, so the road of the car definitely not all too planted to the course either. Uh, then coming up to the jump very slowly because I don't have any trust in this car. Can we just hold that on the course? Yes, we do, but this has been slow as hell. Now, coming up to the corner of Doom there, can we get this okay? Now, the corner of Doom very, very tentatively. Go for the cheeky corner cut line. And make that work as well. Now then, coming over the cambered jumps, make that work okay. A bit of an awkward line, but managed to make the best out of that. Now then, not much further to go. Okay, that's a bit wide. That's very wide. That's off the course. And, okay, I messed up in a straight line. That just proves how... how bad I am in this course. I knew... I knew I was going to have issues. This many issues? And then issues in a straight line? Um, honestly, that, that run was terrible anyway. I was going so slowly, so... And if that run did count, it wouldn't have been a good lap time, so... I think I'll say it's for the best that that last run didn't work out. But what, I've learned a few things about this car, though. One, it, it's understeers to Narnia, and two, it has no rear grip either, so... Two things that you don't want a car to have, this car has them. Also, no engine sound, which is definitely what, something you don't want to... Which is something you definitely want a car to have, is engine sound. And again, it's electric, it's just going to make the, uh, the Dyson Hoover whiny noise, but... And you know, that's the way the Sector of Doom once again, nice and early on the brakes, because, like I said, I have no trust in this car. And where am I going? Okay, you managed to do somehow say that, taking out a light, this car just has no steering response whatsoever. And I think that just makes me like this car even less, because one, it's electric, it makes no noise, which is not, which is, you just don't, you just want noise from a car. And it having the most unresponsive steering of all the cars I've taken down this course so far, that's even worse. And actually, I'd rather drive the Shafty V12 down here again, than have to drive this thing for any longer. Now then, over the camber jumps, make that okay, just about, get a bit of a twitch, but... It's been okay so far. And now then, coming up now to bridge corner. Under the bridge, got that all okay. And then coming now into the third sector where we shouldn't be, ha be having any issues, but knowing me, knowing this car, it's going to find a way to have issues. And now then, coming into the third sector, put this electric power in use. Use all these Duracell AA batteries. And then into the chicane very tentatively. Now then, round the f what's really the final corner now, over the last little jump. Now then, coming up to the finish line, trying to try corner cut it as much as possible. And that was not a quick time. <laughs> I can already feel that now. But then again, I didn't think the Retinue had a quick time, and that's currently the fastest car before this video, so... Anything's possible, really. Coming on to the second car, and it's the Jester Race car. A car which has engine sound, which is already a plus. Bright blue wheels, and, well, it's a race car, so it's faster than a normal Jester. And I think is in the top five for sports cars in races. I don't know if that would be including the Pariah as number one or not, but either way, it's a top car excluding the Pariah, so it's a good car. And I'm hoping for a semi-decent time, probably somewhere around the time of the Masacro. 
But flying over the course like that, that's not going to do any favours. Can I actually hold this? No, of course we can't. Well, actually... Actually, well, I was going to try and get it back on the course, but... Just ended up stuck on a rock instead. Can I have to get used to that? Because I just spent the last seven, eight minutes getting used to a slow car. That's a rock, that's a rock. That's okay, that's not going well. But we, can we just hold it? Yes, we can, but that's... I've ruined the run already in a straight line. I've ruined the run in a straight line. Well done, me. Can you try and hold it on the inside? No, that's... That's, um, that's not gone well. And honestly, I think it's for the better that run ended, really. So at least, I just got used to driving a slow as hell chameleon, so... Yeah, I guess you're going to need to uh, get used to driving a actually fast car around the track once again. Actually, it's been a really... It's been a decent start to the lap. Probably not the fastest run in the world that I've had, but still. I'm setting a decent time out this car, somewhere in the top 10, definitely near the Masacro. And now then, that's a rock, that's a rock, oh come on. All the issues now are just happening, and it doesn't even worse that my my reactions to saying it are delayed as well. Which makes it sound like I'm doing it post-com, but I'm not, this is a live com. It, so, uh, the run continues again, because I didn't completely stop, so... This run is going to be so slowly if this is the one that makes it. Now, over the jump, getting heavy on the brakes, can we survive this? No. I think I pushed my luck a bit too much there. I'm going to land on the rock, though, that I landed on with the um, the chameleon. And now my... the jester's doing things to the rock. I think this might be how uh, how the Flintstone car was made. A of death. Get past there, okay? Around the next corner, painfully solid now, into the sector of doom. Heavy under braking there. Managed to make that work, actually. I'm getting the brakes once again because this thing has got a lot of power, so can't take that flat like I could in some cars previously. Now then, coming up to the jump. Okay, that's a slide. That's a slide. Can we just hold that? Just about, but end up actually driving around the jump, so that's definitely going to cost us a lot of time, and that's pretty much any shot of this run being the fastest run out the window. Can we just hold that? No, we can't. And we're going into the rocks again. And they're almost going to complete standstill. This car's just doing the exact opposite of what you had the previous run. Hit the brakes, it complies. And just has a lot of braking force. And now, what is this car doing? Why can't it just be so... Why can't it just be consistent? And then coming up to the jump very slowly. Managed to get over there, but he hit a bump though. And that's a backflip. <laughs> and now we're going right down towards the river, are we? Yeah, we're not going to stop before we hit the river. And this is what, honestly, the car deserves to be in here. A compar won't be comparable time to... Uh, everything else and oh brakes please work why is this a hat or something with these unworking brakes now then past the jump yes there we go okay that was a horrible line that was horrible that was just the worst and it finds the one branch to actually stop this thing going back into the river of course it does the more i f i fail with this car the more tempted i am just to go and sell it after this recording Okay, can I actually just get a decent run out of this car, please? We've still got another car to go after this, and I don't even know what the last car is going to be yet. But whatever it is, no matter what it is, honestly, and if I choose the other the other shafter, it's definitely going to be more enjoyable to drive than this Chester is being right now. But through the first sector, actually issue three for once, which makes a change. And then taking a nice line there. Now the brakes actually deciding they want to do something that time. Coming up to that left-hander, now over his next jump as well. Bit tentative, but still managed to make it work. Now coming to the wall of death, managed to make that work. Then over the corner as well, and now into the sector of doom, heavy under braking there. That was not the fastest line I've taken, but I have absolutely no trust or any liking left for this car. I'm running a bit wide there, just putting the power down. And the brakes decided they don't want to do anything. Now over the jump, very, very slightly, yeah, because he gets snagged on that bush once again. Now then, taking that line, we actually managed to make it work this time. Coming into the corner of Doom on two wheels, we managed to make it work though. And then going for that cheeky corner cut line, not the most, not the fastest I've taken that line, but still, I'm over it at least. And now then, over those camber jumps, cost us time, but still, the run continues, thank God. And now then, coming under the bridge corner now, managed to make there okay, no issues, and now into the final sector, but then cars have had issues in the sector before. I'm taking absolutely no speed through this sector because I just want to get onto the last car already. And then through the final sector now, trying to put the power down, that's the wall, but we're still facing in the straight line, so it still counts, and that was a wiggle. I have no idea what happened to the car just there. I think something may have broken on it, because that was just an interesting wiggle. But still, this run has not been quick whatsoever, but still, up to the finish line. And I somehow just managed to not miss the finish line there. If I had missed the finish line there, I think I may flip something. 
but then I don't know what to flip actually. Coming on to the final car for the video and it's the T20. A contender definitely for fastest lap since it's based off a of McLaren and well the Zentorno had the fastest time when it went but the rest of you was just too mighty for it and the T20 definitely is quite a bit faster than the Zentorno so this car might end up hopefully I hope with the fastest time I don't want the retinue to be the eventual winner of this series but if it is then that's, that'll be a good underdog story but you think that a T20 will be able to beat a Ford Escort even with the Escort's advantage of being a rally car in this game and that's actually been a really fast run through the first sector I mean I think the ret retinue did a, a low one minute 40 lap time so this with this great acceleration this run should be even faster and this might even one shot it now I'm into the corner of Doom first run this car has just been really nice to me so far and honestly it feels a lot nicer to drive than that just I mean honestly walking this course and oh, that's a rock I was going to say walking this course would feel a lot nicer than the Jester but was that a rock there before I don't think it was it's going to help with the acceleration I'm pretty sure the retinue was only rear wheel drive I don't think was four wheel drive a, th a thing back in the 70s or 80s whenever that car was from in real life I don't know. I wasn't born then. Now then, through the first sector once again in the sector of Dune, I'm trying to avoid that rock there, go a bit slowly. Okay, that's a wiggle, that's a wiggle! Okay, that was a bit of an overcorrection there to try and avoid that rock. That rock's definitely further over to the side that time. We're going in a straight line. I'm not saying near enough a straight line. It didn't completely stop, so the run continues. And that may have just killed any chance of this being the fastest run, though. Wasting that time, because you can't afford to waste time. If the rainy beat is Antorno, which had a pretty decent run, then this thing should have a decent run as well, but that bit of time it just lost could end up costing it its time a shot at the top of the leaderboard. Just going, oh, that rock again, seriously, wow. What is wrong, what is that rock problem with me? But that was a bit of a slide there, not the fastest run through this first sector, but still. There's a lot of course left to try and make up any time. We're now coming into the Wall of Death once again. The Wall of Death, yet to claim a victim today, I've just realised. And then into this, this court, the sector of doom and oh, okay, snap round again, why don't you? Didn't even get to the rock that time. I'm seriously running out of real life time to actually get a run out of this car. Otherwise I'm going to have to re-record this or carry it on later. So I mean, these runs will still be in the video if that's the case. But if it's not, this is the last run, just forget everything I just said. Running out a bit wide there. Okay, I've taken the original, I've taken the OG line there. Taken the, uh, the Omni line around that corner, which is definitely going to cost us time, but... If, it, if this is the run that counts, then it's the run that counts. And then coming through the end of the first sector, coming up now into the mountain part of the first sector, definitely been okay so far, despite running out of that's a rock. Okay, I think, are rocks magnetic to T20s? Because they definitely seem to be so far. And now then, coming into the sector of doom, heavy underbraking though, makes this left-hander. Okay. Okay, that works. I landed it, so I guess this run can still continue. I'm getting past the Jester Rock. Okay, this is new territory now for the T20. Now I'm going to go nice and slowly over that jump because I'm running out of time. And now then, coming up now over the second part of the jump. Now oh, that's a horrible line, but managed to still land it though. And now then, into the corner of Doom very slowly, but managed to make that work. Is it getting darker in this game again? Is it going to rain? Okay, I'm seeing cloud cover. I think it's going to rain soon in, the, in this run, so... Just even more reason to get this run done. And now then, coming up to Bridge Corner though, so we're not far off getting this run completed now. And then under the Bridge Corner, it's definitely been a tentative second half to the run, but making it work though. And now then, into the final sector, still not, not putting the power down yet, because I do not know what this T20 is going to do. Now, finally put all that T20 power down, a heavy underbraking. The chicane was going to complete standstill, hit off the rock though, but still, the T20 gets up facing the right way, around the final corner, over the jump. And now then, coming up now to the finish line, this has not been the fastest run. But still, managed to make it work at least. And if that's even in the top five, that will be a miracle, honestly. Because that run, that tree, that would have been a very disappointing end to the run, if that's where the run actually ended. At the end results, and the Progen will be the leader of today's cars, but only managed sixth place after its issue-filled run with a 1 minute 46.5 just came clear of the hijacked chameleon which is in seventh with a 1 minute 46.7 and you also see that it's times in red because you saw on the run it's footage well there was a jump in the footage which just cut out and nothing i could do about that so i just had to guess 
how much time was left was cut out in that run so I guess about three ish seconds so that put it in seventh place and the Dinka Jester all the way down in tenth place was still how did you get a top ten with that run and with how many issues it had I think that's actually a pretty decent time to be honest also notice that the Felser's name is spelled incorrectly on Benefactor so that'll be corrected for next time as well so remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Also remember to check out my Discord server which will be linked in the description, along with my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, so definitely go and follow me on those as well. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time.